Oh boy. It's drizzling out here. I just came from the doctor. Um, because <clears throat> I'd done, you know, blood tests and I was supposed to do all my STD tests, but I couldn't get an appointment. It became complicated because uh, the secretary gave me a number. When I called the number, the secretary there said I had to go on the site website. And then when I went on the website, um, everything was blocked <laughs> for the past, next two months. So I was like, okay. And then I started working and I was like, uh, I'll, I'll go see the doctor because we already made an appointment. Um, and I already done the blood tests. <clears throat> I just didn't do anything with the, uh, the STDs to go on prep. So um, when I got there, she was a half hour late, but I was sleeping. I was, I was about to leave when she actually just came. And I, was, I wasn't angry, which is cool. I was just going to set another appointment. I was going to tell the secretary to tell the doctor I couldn't, I had to leave. You know, so that's a good thing. Think about it. And, um, she, she created an alter, uh, alternative solution is that, um, my next appointment's in three months. And, uh, appointment with her at 10 of course i'm going to be all fucked up because of this job but that's okay uh but then with a uh auxiliary auxiliary nurse or cna as you call it uh to do the the tests right before the, my appointment so that's a good thing so i won't have to go to this other clinic and uh waste time not getting an appointment and all the stress with that. So that there's that. So that's a good thing. So now I'm gonna go look for something to eat. Or maybe I'll go here. Okay. And then I gotta take a nap and then go over to work. <laughs>